this is big news in the NBA. So Chris Paul has entered the NBA's health and safety protocol and is out indefinitely. It's jeopardizing his availability for the Western Conference Finals. Remember, the Suns just swept the Nuggets. They're waiting to see who they play out of the Jazz and Clippers. So this is a source confirming this now to ESPN. The Athletic has first reported this, uh, that Paul will be sidelined indefinitely after, uh, as a result of entering the protocol, the league's rules for coronavirus-related isolation uh. periods have evolved throughout the season in correlation with increasing vaccine um, numbers. So if Paul is already vaccinated against COVID-19, which we don't know yet, he could be facing a shorter absence from the Suns. This is a story to keep an eye on. Now, the, the Western Conference Finals are scheduled to start next week. Or earliest it can start is on Sunday. It's on Sunday. Now, we have more news. Brian Windhorst now reporting this. Uh, he and Ramona Shelburne. Kawhi Leonard expected to miss game five tonight. Oh. Remember the knee injury? Yeah, at the end of the game. Remember he said he's okay? Yeah. Not okay. Yeah. He bumped knees with, with uh, Joe Ingles in game four. So his status, by the way, Jay, for the rest of the series is in doubt, according to Wendy and Ramona Shelburne. So two huge pieces of news here on the NBA front, as incredibly this playoffs has been more about who, who's not available <laughs> than who is available. Uh, it, it just, I mean, it, literally the post-game presser, the last question they asked Kawhi yeah. was about you bump knees. How do you feel? And he said, uh, er everything will be fine. I'll be just good. Remember, he left the game. Yeah. At that moment, remember, he saw him, he saw him take the bump. Then he kind of hobbled walking off. And he didn't have to play the rest of the game. They were pretty much in control. But then afterwards, you're right. You completely dismissed it. I'm fine. Wow. I'm fine. I'll be fine. So potentially no Kawhi. Game five in doubt. Doubtful. In doubt for the rest of the series. Still See waiting on Mike feels. Conley. Mike Conley has been out with the hamstring. He has not CP3 been available. CP3 now in COVID now protocol. Chris Paul, we don't know that. That just came down just now. Kyrie Irving, James Harden. Yeah, Kyrie Irving's injury that we don't know, again, the extent of that injury right now. Joel Embiid. The knee. The knee. Playing through a, a partially torn meniscus. DeAndre Hunter out for yeah, they Atlanta. Lose him a three and I mean, for the Atlanta. only team that's healthy is the Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, and how's that working out? Are they the, they the only could, healthy, could, fully healthy team? And how's that could working Paul out? Paul George have a KD like have a KD, not necessarily like, but <sighs> inspiration kind of lead the charge. Can can Paul George do that? That's a great topic. I mean, he has been putting up numbers the last three games. But that's two games. I. But I don't want yeah, two 30 point games. But but can we also flip it and say the Utah Jazz, one of the best defenses in the league, would they allow that? Like the Bucs allowed KD, would the Jazz? But the Bucs were one defense, of the best defenses in the league, too, and they allowed yeah, KD I, I, to I do would, that. I would yeah, say this though so Quinn Snyder is a top three coach in the league. I don't think Coach Bud is. 